Welcome to the video, everybody. This is gonna be the first task that we're gonna be doing in Unreal Engine that is a skill builder. So what we're gonna focus on right now is a widget. A widget is a user interface, more or less, that is gonna let the player interact with the game or the game interact with the player. So this is gonna let you create menus. It's gonna let you create buttons. It's gonna let you create a scrolling text to tell the player or the viewer what is going on. We're not gonna be doing anything too crazy in this tutorial. We're just gonna make a basic widget that says hello world across the screen whenever we hit play because we will be building on this quite a bit in the future. But for now, this is all we need to know. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. So you should have your launcher open to start this off. We're going to go to the library, or you could just hit launch if it's already set up. You're going to make sure that you have the correct version. So for this one, I'm just going to be using 4.25 because it's the one I have been using. And I don't think there's any difference in this version with 4.26 for what we're doing right now. So I'm just going to stick with the version that I've been using. So I'm going to hit launch. And I am going to be creating a new file. As I believe I mentioned in some previous tutorials, I like to create a project for every single task, even if it overlaps with other projects, because what that's gonna let you do is if I go and make this widget and it's working, the next time I go to make a project and I create a widget, I'm going to have a project to kind of refer to. And I think it's really good to keep doing these tasks over and over again, because you could go and do a widget once. And then the problem is that when you're kind of in a crunch and you have to do another widget, you can't really remember how you did it because you've only gone through this once. Whereas if you set up each like a new project every single time, then you may have done it nine or 10 times. And it sounds tedious, but unfortunately, that is kind of what you have to do with this because there are so many little buttons and so many little paths that you can go down with Unreal Engine that you really need to get this down and memorize it. But it, it is all very easy, as I said, at least this beginner stuff. It's just that it's it's just finding that correct path. But once you know it, you're fine. We're going to be creating a new file, as I just mentioned. So we're going to go to games next. Now, for this one, I'm going to be using first person. You could also use a third person. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever you prefer. We're going to go to next. And I am just going to look at these. These all appear to be set up correctly. So blueprints, max quality, ray tracing is disabled. We're not going to be doing anything with it for the first little bit. Desktop and starter content. These ones are all a little bit irrelevant for this. I think the only one that you really need is blueprint. That one is important. All the other ones don't really matter for now. I'm going to call this tut three widget begin. I don't know. It doesn't matter as long as it says tutorial three. So I'm going to create the project. Give this a second to load. Right. So something that I like to do off the bat with almost any file is if you see if I hit play here, I don't like how it does it inside of the viewport because I find that this kind of messes up where your widget is because it's like squishing the screen and everything doesn't display in the correct place. So if you hit exit there, and you come up here, you want the new editor window. I find this one is so much nicer to use and it gives you a much better idea of how your screen is actually supposed to look. So I always set it to that. And as you can see, the, the icon will change a little bit. I personally recommend that you do it like this, but it's not necessary. It's just whatever you find is um, the most comfortable for you. So the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna come down to our content browser here. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go to user interface and we're gonna go widget blueprint so that's what i was talking about where the user interface this is going to let us create buttons menus all of that but not in this tutorial we're just going to be doing simple text i'm going to call this hello world you can call it or name it the exact same thing now that we've created the widget we can come in here just double tap it to open it and you should see this so with this blue box here or when it's highlighted i guess blue this is going to represent the screen so this is where our widget is going to show up on the screen and there are quite a lot of options, as you can see over here, that you can build your widget out of. But the only ones that we're interested in right now, you can just type it right in, is horizontal box. We're going to drag this down to the canvas panel. You can just drag it over here, but I like to do 
I like to do it over in the hierarchy here just so you know exactly where everything is slotting into. For these ones, it's pretty easy, so it doesn't really matter, but it can get more difficult. So that's why I think it's best to make sure that it's organized right from the beginning. You're just going to drag the corner of it so that it's more or less right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to type in text and you want this, not text box, but just text. And then we're going to drag that into the horizontal box. Now, if you click on this, and you have to have text box selected. As you can see, if you have the horizontal box selected, it won't show up on the right hand side. So you want text box selected and then you should get some options over here. I'm going to go to size, fill, horizontal alignment, horizontally aligned to center and then vertically aligned to center. So that's going to put it right in the middle of that box that we created. What it's saying is it's going to horizontally align it with the center of the horizontal box that we made and then vertically align it with the middle of the horizontal box. So basically we're taking the box and we're putting the text block right in the middle of it. And from there we can open up the font. Let's make this 80. I think that should be big enough. And then let's change the text to hello space world. And then that's, this is what we should see on our screen when we run the blueprint correctly. So let's compile it. And if you see compile with the check mark, you're not gonna have a problem. Since this is such a basic scene, I'm not really sure what could even not compile in this scene. I think it should always work, but let's save it anyways, exit it out. And then this is a working widget that we can now bring into our level blueprint. So the level blueprint is just the working space that we are gonna call on this widget when we start the game. It's we will get a more complicated with the blueprints, but this one is extremely easy. So I'm not really sure I'd even include it as like the first blueprint tutorial that we do. When we come in here, we're going to right click. You're going to type in event begin play. As you can see, it's right there. So that just means that this event is going to be called as soon as the game starts. So we hit play, bang, shows up. And from here, you can drag this node, come up here, we're going to type in create widget. Okay. Now, this class here is just saying what widget it's going to be calling. So if we have the drop down here, hello world, pop that in. Now, it's saying create hello world widget. So this is what we just created in the other the other module, I guess for the, the user interface, and it's going to call that text block whenever we start the game. This part is a little bit weird. The, so this is something that I'm not. It's very weird if you're a beginner because it's something that I feel like you'd never really check in this spot. But if you right click on the return value, you're going to have an option to promote to variable. So this is going to let us make it so that it can reference itself, I believe. So we're going to go from this set. We are going to type in add to viewport. So that gets plugged in here, so the target is itself. So when the event begins, we're going to create the Hello World widget inside of the level blueprint. So we've created the module, and now it's going to be creating that same module when the game starts. And then we have it going through here, so it's gonna target itself and it's add to the viewport. That's all we have to do for this widget, and it should be working now. So if we compile, there's no problem at all. If this is something I want to show you. So if, if you try and hit compile and it doesn't work and you're getting an error on this one, chances are it's because you don't have this selected. You have to make sure that at least a widget is selected. In this case, I think our only real option is the hello world one. So we'll compile again. Now it works. So we can close this down. Let's come out here, hit play. And as you can see, now it says hello world. So whatever we do to this widget down here, then it's going to automatically update it. A little example here is if we come in here and I go like this, uh, maybe I'll just see he world. I don't know. Save and compile it. If I hit it again, now, as you can see, that change is represented. So that's all we're going to be doing for this tutorial. We are going to get gradually more, more and more complex with this, but this is probably one of the easiest things you're going to start with in Unreal Engine because you got to at least open up the level blueprints. You got to do a little bit with widgets. And if you are doing, I think just about any game, these are two very important things to learn. So it's, I think this is a very good tutorial to start with. Uh, I hope you feel the same way and I'll see you in the next part. Until then, everybody.